Okay, here are two more examples. We'll start with this one. Now, this certainly doesn't look like a telescoping series, but remember the previous one I pointed out, you know, they had given to us as 1 over n, subtract 1 over n plus 1, I think it was, that if you put it over a common denominator, then you get something that looks like this, right? We said, hey, you can sort of do like a p-series sort of thing on it if you wanted to. Um, but of course, you may also need to reverse that process. So we might have to say, okay, let's work over on the side and say, okay, we've got 2 over n times n plus 2, all right? Rational function. We can do partial fractions. a over n, b over n plus 2, all right? So how do we solve for these? Remember, if we multiply everything by n, we have a isolated, put in n is equal to 0. This disappears. It's gone from there. Putting n equal to 0 gives 2 over 2. So a is 1. If I multiply everything by n plus 2, this will disappear when we plug in minus 2. That'll just be b. This is gone. Put in minus 2, 2 over minus 2. b is minus 1. Okay. So we can rewrite this. As the sum and going from 1 to infinity of, sorry, something fell off the light. Still working. Let's keep going. 1 over n plus 2. All right. Start writing out the partial sum, see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so we have, you know, Let's just write a kind of a general one. What is it going to look like? Sn. Okay. So n equals 1. I have 1 minus a third. Then let's go to 2. 1 half minus a quarter. Oh, it doesn't look promising, does it? Oh, but let's go to 3. A third minus a fifth. Let's go to 4. A quarter minus a sixth. And so on. So we actually do get some cancellation. We eventually get some cancellation, right? Uh, the one-third cancels with the one-third. One-quarter will cancel with one-quarter, right? That one-fifth is going to cancel with the one over five in the next one. The one over six is going to cancel with something in the next one. Um, but the one-half, the one-half survives. So we get one plus a half, you know, and Pretty much everything else is going to cancel down to, well, we're going to have a couple terms left over, right? Uh, and that was going to be, that's from n equals 4. Yeah. So we have 1 over n plus 1. So simplifies down to there, okay? And if n goes to infinity, well, these are going to go to 0. And those stick around, right? So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity, we're just left with 1 plus a half. So we get 3 over 2 for the limit. Okay, come to this last one. Well, that definitely doesn't look like harmonic, or sorry, a telescoping series. But maybe we can do something with it. Can we do something with it? Ah, yes, log properties, right? We know that log of n plus 1 over n, okay, is the same thing as log n plus 1 minus log n, okay? So that means if we start writing out the partial sums, right, Sn, right, it's going to be, well, first of all, log 2 minus log 1, which is just 0, right, plus log 3 minus log 2, right? Then it's going to be log of 4 minus log of 3, and then log of 5 minus log of 4, and so on, down to log of n plus 1 minus log of n. Okay, so now we look for cancellations, right? Log 3 cancels with log 3. Um, log 2 
cancels with log two. Log four is gonna cancel with log four, right? Um, the next term would be log six minus log five. Log fives cancel. Uh, actually, everything cancels except for except for that. So the nth partial sum is the natural log of n plus one. Okay, but if we let n go to infinity on that, we don't get a value, right? It's infinite, so this diverges. It diverges. If you like, you might add it diverges to infinity, but the main point is it diverges.